that I am going to show you the different blend modes in Blender and how to create a transparent material with the gradient. So let's see, we are going to use this cube and I'm going to edit the camera and first of all I'm going to go to edit mode because I want to open this cube. So I'm going to save this tool to select this face and delete it. And now let's come back to object mode and I'm going to create for example an object to leave it inside so we can see if we see the object or not when we apply a transparency. Perfect. Now let's open a new tab. Here, really important, select material view because we are going to work with materials. And here, select shade editor and select the cube. Now we can change the color of the material here. For example, let's take this one. And here we have the alpha channel. Usually, the alpha channel in any editor program, for example, After Effects, Premiere, whatever, is the transparency channel. However, if we click here and we decrease this, this material is not being transparent until we reach zero. And suddenly it's black. It's not transparent, but it's black. So what is happening here? What is happening is that we are working, if we go in options, with the blend mode opaque. That means that this doesn't make the material transparent, only makes opaque. But when? Only when reach zero. Look. Only in zero. So if I add 0 0.00001, will be full color again. Really important. Okay. So if you want to make this material transparent, to see, for example, this object inside, we need to change the blend mode. For example, alpha clip. So here we have three alpha different modes. Let's start with this one. Alpha clip is really easy. It's like the opaque mode, but when reach zero, the material will be transparent. However, if we decrease this, it's going to stay opaque, so full color, except if we select zero. So only when we select zero, boom, it's transparent. However, like before, if I add 0 0.00001, will be full color again. So remember, this one only works when the alpha is poor zero. And with this one, we cannot apply gradients. Clip means that only works with zero or one. There is no transition in the middle. That's why it's called binary visibility. Okay, now let's come back to one and see the other ones. Alpha hash. This one allows you transparency. So now we can see that this is not transparent. However, if we decrease this, we can start seeing through the material. So we can start seeing this ball. And if I select zero, the material is full transparent. And as you can see, this mode adds noise. So this is really important. And now we have the other one, alpha blend. This one works like this one, but without noise and with another feature. So one is full opaque. And if we decrease this, we start seeing through the material, so we can see the inside. Okay, but why I can see these lines? This is because this alpha blend mode has this option. Show back face. This option is only available in this mode. Look, if I select this one, it doesn't appear. And this one doesn't appear. And in blend, it appears. So this is to show the inside in any value. If you don't want to see the inside, then disable this and will work normally. However, when you decrease this, we are not going to see the back faces. So these lines. So if you want to see the lines, able this. If not, not. Maybe you are thinking, but what's a back face? A back face is, for example, Let's go here and select face orientation. But let's select the solid mode. Every face has two faces. The blue ones, it's called front faces. And the other side of one face, it's called back face. That's why the inside faces are red. So when we, let's come back here in material view, when we select show back face, 
what we are saying is show me the back face of inside or from all the faces. That's why we can see these lines here. And if we disable this, we cannot see the back faces. The back faces in transparency, really important. If you don't want to see the back faces without material and nothing, then select this. Back face calling means hide all the back faces. Remember, the red faces. So if I select this, boom, all the back faces, remember, the red faces are not being rendered. So this option, ignore to show you all the back faces. If you are not interested in this, just disable that. But at least you know now how to play with alpha with the four modes that I just show you here. And there is other features, but this is for more advanced tutorials. Today we are not going to use it. Now, how we apply a gradient to an object? Let me show again, for example, this face. I'm going to select this and press F to add again the face. Now, to apply a gradient, what we have to do, I'm going to hide this and stay with alpha blend is to apply a gradient texture and connect it where? Here, no, in the alpha, because we want to play with the alpha. A gradient texture, basically, is a texture that goes from black to white. Black is zero, white is one. So now, here we can see that this is full color and this is black, because this is zero and this is one. However, if we want to move this gradient, what we have to do is to add here a mapping node. I recommend you to have the node wrangle activated in add-ons. If you have this node, select this one and press Ctrl T. So instantly we add this node. And now here we can control the position of the gradient. So if we push this, you will see, for example, this direction in negative, we are pushing the gradient. So now the zero, the black is here. And everything that is, this is zero, for example, everything that is negative than zero, we cannot see it. So that means that it's transparent. And around here is white, so we could see everything higher than this. And between 0 and 1, there is the gradient. So with this, we can push this gradient. If you want to do it in this direction, then what you have to do is to move this axis. Rotate it. So here, select, for example, 90 degrees. And now we can push it in this axis, for example, to rebuild an object or hide it. If you want to do it in the other side, so in this direction, then let's add 180 degrees. And now we can do it in the other, sorry, not this one. It was 90 plus 180 degrees. Now we are doing in the other direction. So this one is this direction, and 90, the other direction. And if you want to clip this, what I mean, that we don't have a gradient, remember, then select clip. Clip doesn't have a transition because it's or zero or one. It doesn't care about the transition. So it's an option if you want to do this animation too. So this is how it works, all the blend modes and how to make a transparency material with a gradient. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So see you next video.